GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, don't upset me. Start recording. There you go. Yeah. Guys, guess where I am? I am in Tokyo, man. At the trendiest and most fashionable area. It's called Omote Sando. This is where all the top high brand stores are located at. You have like Dior. You have Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Armani, Prada. And talking about Prada, check this building out, man. Isn't it the coolest building? This is the Prada store in Tokyo, man. They have this amazing build. It's quite unique, isn't it? Check out these lines. It looks like a little bubbles. Man, I just love this building. It's super cool, isn't it? I love it. Anyway, talking about Prada again, guess what? A fashion editor of this magazine called me to shoot an editorial for Prada, man! I was like, yeah! <laughs> By the way, this is the second video I'm posting on this how to shoot a fashion editorial playlist. Did you watch the first one? The link is below. You should go and have a look because there are a few tips there, step by step, the process of shooting a fashion editorial. And the very first step is the clothes. So we set up this meeting at a coffee shop somewhere and I went to meet the editor, expecting her to show me pictures of the clothes. So I couldn't have an idea of what kind of clothes they were, like, like coats or skirts, whatever. So once I know what the clothes look like, then I can come out with an idea for the shooting, right? But then what? She had no picture of the clothes and we had no idea what kind of clothes we are gonna shoot. The only thing that the editor knew is that Prada requested the model to be somebody famous. That's all we knew. So, and she told me the name of the model there, but honestly, I had no idea who she was. Seems like that the clothes were gonna be flown to Tokyo from somewhere and would get here just like one or two days before the shooting. So, no idea how the clothes are gonna look like until actually we do the editorial. Problems! 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 My problem is you! What I'm gonna do? Sex Pistols sing that song, yeah, I love that song. Anyway, we were in the problem, man. How the hell am I gonna come out with the story? The editor is sitting right across me, sipping a cup of coffee. And I'm like, mm. Right, let's go through a little brainstorming here. What do I have on the table? All I know is like, the, the clothes are expensive and the models is famous. Like, let's portray a woman who is rich and famous. Who is rich and famous? Well, I suppose Madonna is rich and famous and Jennifer Lopez and Megan Fox and Jessica Alba. What do they have in common? Maybe they have bodyguards. Maybe they always fly first class. Maybe they have their own private jet. Maybe they have their own helicopter. Maybe they have their own yacht, an open car. Maybe they have pets. The paparazzi is always after them, isn't it? They like shopping. Then something struck in my mind, man. What if we make a story based on a celebrity lifestyle? Right? Yeah, that's bingo, right? So, the girl gets somewhere in her private jet. As she gets out of the jet, the paparazzi are waiting for her. As the paparazzi come to take her pictures, the bodyguards come and boom, beat the hell out of the paparazzi. Boom, 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 blood everywhere. Like, and then there is a helicopter waiting for her at the tarmac. She gets into the helicopter fly somewhere else. When she gets there, the paparazzi are there again, and the bodyguards again, boom, beat the hell of this paparazzi out. And then what? Then there is a car waiting for her. She gets in the car, goes somewhere, say she goes to a hotel somewhere. When she gets to the hotel, the paparazzi are there again, and the bodyguards, 
bow, 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 bing. And then they go to the editor, how do you like that? And she goes, mm, nah, I think this is a bit too much for our magazine. Can't we try to be a bit more down? Then I go again. Mm. Right. Okay, let's make it easy. She gets somewhere in her helicopter. Her, she has a lot of suitcases and her bodyguards are helping her with the suitcase. She has a pet, right? Paris Hilton has a pet, so she has a pet. Then they go somewhere. Instead of the paparaz, a TV crew is there waiting for her, like interviewing her. Hey, what's up? How long are you going to be in town for? Blah, 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 blah. And then what? What if she goes somewhere to have a cup of tea? You know what I mean? With macarons and all these cookies and, you know, this... <laughs> yeah, and then she has... Oh, she's having tea, oh, she's all full of blah, blah, blah. She's having tea here and the manicure... Manicurist is like taking care of her nails, right? Pew and the tea... Right, and then what? Then she goes for a drive. She goes for a drive in her open car. What if you have some colorful balloons on the, on the back seat? And then what? Uh, she steps out of the car and takes a selfie. As far as I know, every single celebrity out there has got an Instagram account, right? They're all full of selfies. And then she goes back to the hotel where she's staying with all her shopping bags and she puts all these shopping bags on the top of the bed and calls somebody and blah, blah, blah. That could be a story, couldn't it? And I go to the editor and I say, how do you like that? And the editor says, yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Check it out. How did I shoot these pictures? Right guys, this is the opening page of our Prada editorial. Uh, I got the props together here, right? I got the helicopter, and the bodyguards, the suitcase. Looks cool, everyone has got a sunglass. The guy looks sharp. Yeah, let's go and kick some ass, man. Where are the paparazzi, dude? Right, and then what? Uh, you can always ask a friend to borrow his helicopter and do something similar to that, right? Anyway, if you saw the very first video I posted, it says that I like to shoot it with a 2870 zoom. It's slightly from below because I like to make the, the model look a little bit taller. You know that I like to have the opening page taken in landscape mode so the viewer can picture where the model is. So it's pretty clear that she's getting out of somewhere and heading somewhere, right? The problem with this picture was the dog, man. This dog here. I was like, oh my God, how come you having a black dog? Like I asked the editor, please get anything but a black dog. Now you know why I don't want to have a black dog in the picture. Like, what? Does it even look like a dog, does it? Doesn't even look like a bag, doesn't look like nothing. And the reason why the girl is holding the dog is because this dog was all over the place. You can see in the video. In the, in the making of video, this dog is like, Poof! and I asked the, the editor, please get the dog from some kind of animal production. You know? I mean, they, they have dogs that can dance, sing, speak, you know, give speeches to a thousand people. Like they have the, the best dogs, man. Trust me, they have super nice dogs. But then what? Uh, I think the word that we're shooting with a dog came like to the the manager, the manager of the model heard it. Then told the model, then the model insisted to have her dog along in the picture. And as she famous, nobody said no. And then I was surprised to get the location day, to get the shooting day and see a black dog there. And then like, well, c'est la vie. Anyway, like if you do happen to shoot an editorial with a dog, make sure, man, if it, if it is a black dog, Make sure you shoot on the beach somewhere so there is a contrast between the black of the dog and the white sand of the beach. But in this case here, we have too many lines, too many details, like the dog is lost. I don't even see a dog there. Like, it was a bad idea. But anyway, that was done and let's go to the next picture. Boom, next shot. She's going to have an interview done with the TV crew who's waiting here somewhere there. And I really like this shot. Check this out. Like she's wearing a dark suit and right in between two guys wearing light color suit. Like the contrast between light and color makes her stand even more stand out even more, doesn't it? 
Yeah, the Prada bag, the orange weight against her dark suit is just too cool. The, 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 the Prada bag is smiling to the, to the camera. It's cool. And the crew, they even managed to get this really nice uh, TV camera, yeah? Cool, this looks fantastic. And uh, for this picture, man, like uh, we are shooting like in this place in the hotel, surrounded by walls. The only source of light I had was from above and wasn't good enough. So I had to have a, something like a reflector from below to easy like the lights be, below her chain, but the reflector wasn't strong enough. So I had to fill it up with a flash. In the, in the flash I'm using a soft box with a just bit of power just to not to have this part of her face here too dark, you know what I mean? Right, same same lighting I use for this cut as well because as I say the lights come in some is coming from above. So her face wasn't looking good with the kind of lighting there. So I, I ease it up with a soft box from the left hand side, the light is coming here from here towards her face. And they're just a little bit stronger than the natural light. I would say half stop or not even more than that. Just to ease a little bit like the lines here, like if light if, if the light comes from above and you don't have like a, a reflector or a bouncer down here, it's not gonna look good. So, and the, the reflector and bouncer wouldn't be strong enough anyway. So that's why I used the, the soft box, right? And then we had all these macaronis here, man. Mmm, mmm. Things that make you go, mmm. Man, I ate them all. There wasn't one single left to tell a story, man. They are all gone. Yum 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 yum, just like that, all gone. Right, let's go to the next shot. When we took this picture, it was really windy and cold. Her hair was all over the place. The balloons were flying all over the place. Man, it was a nightmare. And then the car is parked at this entrance of the hotel. So there is like buses and taxis and cars coming in and out. So I had to stop the shooting quite a few times so the cars could go through. But yeah, like it was a difficult shot just because it was too windy. And uh, but the model did great. She looks so natural there. Wow, man, I was in love with her. She was just perfect. And this open car there and the colorful balloons is so hard to find like a Western-looking buildings in Tokyo. This one actually was very is a hotel. This yellow building here. And then we are on the other side of the road, another hotel as well. And uh, very close to the heliport where we shot the, the helicopter picture. And uh, yeah, ha happy to have all these locations close together because we didn't have much time to do the shooting. The girl is well known actress or something like that. So she had another things to do during, the, during her day. And uh, this, this picture had to be taken kind of quick and fast, right? Glad to have the locations close to each other. Right, then we came upstairs to this room here, laid the bags on the top of the bed. I have one source, only one source of light in here. There is a flash still with a soft box and a grid pointed towards the bed, just lighting up the middle here. You see that the middle is much brighter than the corners. Yeah, it's not, the light is not flooding all over the place. So it's like only here and like spreading the bags in a way that they're gonna look good on a double page. So the left page said the line between the right and line page goes right through here somewhere. So it's not gonna be on the top of the bag, the middle line, yeah, between left and right page. So it's right here somewhere and very easy shot to do. She gets on the phone. Like, I am like when I'm taking picture, I like to talk to the mother. So I'm talking here to hey, hey, how are you doing? And uh, right, I'm not gonna send you any money, right? So you have to pay for these bags yourself, babe. She was laughing, laughing, and it was kind of cool. Right, guys, now you can go through the making of video and uh, see how the vibe was. You can see that it was pretty cold and windy. And, uh, but the uh, attitude we had that day was pretty nice and warm, and everyone did a great job. And uh, I'm very glad that the model herself also was very easy to work with and we had a great day. All right, take a look at the video. Three, two, one, pow!
now, just before you watch the preview of the next tutorial I'm going to be uploading here, would you please subscribe to my channel, drop me a comment, click like, and what else? <laughs> yeah, hit the notification button so you can get to know when the next video is uploaded. Would you? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and next Sunday I'm going to be posting another video. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah? And uh, yeah, hope to see you next Sunday then. Thanks for having me here. GoPro. Say ciao.